In this morning's Health Watch, how much do you know about the common cold? It is the season for those stuffy noses and scratchy throats. I've got one of those myself today. But does frigid weather actually cause you to catch a cold? Our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, is here to separate cold facts from fiction. Jen, it's good to see you. Good morning, Russ. It's our health IQ. Okay, health IQ. Let's see how we do in this one. Okay, Fact or fiction, cold weather actually brings on colds. Well, what do you think? Initially, I thought fact, because so many people get colds this time of year. But after thinking about it, I'm thinking <laughs> maybe not. Not true. It's fiction. Tell your mom. Tell your grandmother. Okay. Being in cold weather does not predispose you to get a cold. We have to remember the cold is a virus. What happens, though, in cold weather is that more people tend to be inside, okay. in close proximity to each other. And so it's easier to pass the germs. Those germs are still around in the summer. The cold weather has nothing to do with it. All right. Number two, uh, echinacea, a popular herb remedy, can stop a cold. This is fiction, Russ. This uh -huh. is a big one. The, this is a very popular herbal remedy. It's actually been studied in a scientific manner and found to be no more effective than dummy pills in stopping a cold or reducing its severity. At most, there are some studies that show it can shorten the duration of symptoms by about seven or eight hours. But again, and when you talk about risk benefit, it's a relatively low risk herb. If it makes you feel better by taking it, go ahead. Okay. Exercising can can wash away a cold. What do you think? I, I'm going to say no. Okay. I'm, I, actually, you know what? I'm going to say yes, exercise. <laughs> let, let, me, let me clarify that. Exercise can build up your resistance to colds, but actually having a cold and doing exercise, not a good idea. Well, actually, it's true for both. So this is actually a fact, and you know okay. I'm a big proponent and advocate of exercise. Studies have shown that people who exercise just moderately, taking a brisk walk five times a week, are 46% more, percent more likely to suffer a common cold than those who don't exercise. And the thinking is that exercise, even mild or moderate exercise, can really stimulate your immune system, make you less susceptible to colds, and if you actually have a cold, go ahead and exercise because it can shorten the duration of symptoms and actually make you feel better. Really? So if you're, if you're not feeling well, exercise, it's good for yep. you? Yep. As long as you don't have a high fever, go ahead and work out. Okay. Antibiotics can treat a cold. Fact or fiction? Oh, this is big fiction, Russ. Oh. And this is something I go through almost every day in my office with my patients. People get sick. They feel awful. They might be coughing or sneezing up some green stuff. The first thing they do is pick up the phone, call their doctor, and say, I need antibiotics. The fact of the matter is that the common cold is a virus. Antibiotics treat bacterial infections, so they do no good against a common virus like a cold. So really, all you're doing is harming yourself because when you give someone an antibiotic and they don't need it, you're actually potentially building up resistance and later on when you give that person an antibiotic it might not work as well hmm. let the cold run its symptoms ah, okay and something that everybody's mom tells them chicken soup can stop cold symptoms this, fact or fiction this one is a fact this is where mom and grandma's right actually right. chicken soup hot liquids liquids in general can actually help you feel better and there may be a substance in chicken soup that actually kind of fights the inflammation that comes along with a common cold so Drink your liquids, drink yeah. your chicken soup, and feel better. Mom's all over America. And don't go to work today. sick. Don't go to work sick. That's the word. Now you tell me. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Ashton. See you next time. You bet, Russ.